Hey everyone, today I'm going to be looking at the QJ Pillow 3x3. You can get your QJ Pillow 3x3 at this store right here. So, yeah, let's just get on with the review. Right, let's check out the box that came with the cube. You basically just have a blank white box, but you have this little opening to get a cool sneak peek of the cube. So when you open the box, you get the QJ Pillow 3x3. Yay! It can spin clockwise and counterclockwise. Either way, it works. Alright, so speed of this cube is very smooth and it's very, very quick. You can do a lot of good finger tricks with this with ease. You can do some good permutations on this. And yeah, I mean, you can still do that one little finger trick that some kids might still do. But nowadays people don't judge the cube off of this anymore. Now corner cutting on this, um, just so you know this hasn't had any tensioning redone to it, so it's factor tensions. It can it with factor tensions a little bit around here. A little bit stiff this general area. My brother likes his tension so he kept it. But yeah, I mean it. It kind of it corner cuts decently with you know factory tensions. Now reverse corner cutting, there is none. And yeah, let me just show you this one cap since one popped out. Just has these. It looks like a little tabletop. Locking on this, there basically isn't really any because very smooth. Whenever I play with this, it never tends to have any lockups. And if there is, it's because I turned it like this or something and it can't cut it. Now, turning on this, you can tell that there's a very almost crispy sound to it. So, yeah, it sounds almost like an Alpha 5. Let's see. Here's my micro memory. You gotta get that crispy noise in there. Now stickers on this cube are very nice and pretty vibrant, I'd say. That uh, on a white cube, it looks much brighter, but they are standard colors, really. They don't. Most cube companies don't give you the best shades, but yeah, the main ones are blue and green that are the dullest, pro probably. Um. But yeah, there's orange if you want to see. And that was uh, comparing it to a Guhong. Now, size. Size, it's actually smaller than you think it'd be. Let me just grab out my Rubik's brand right here. Alrighty, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. As you can see, there is a slight... Um, difference in size, but once you hold this cube, because of its roundness, it does feel a lot smaller than it actually is, and it's, yeah, I know, yeah, so that's basically the size of it, it's very, very small, like, my camera will focus, it doesn't like to focus. But yeah, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. Compared to other cubes, this one I would say it's a little. Uh, I guess it'd be more of a good one-handed cube. I guess so you can. It's not the smallest, like a micro memory, but you can do some good tricks with this and stuff. I can get my hands around it easily. It's probably about the same size as a mini Type C, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But if you're going to be, you know, a main speed cuber and you like round cubes, I mean, this isn't really going to be the absolute the best because of its size. It doesn't really have good corner cutting ability and doesn't reverse corner cut.
Alright, so I'm going to do a quick solve with this, and I'll compare that solve with some other singles that I've done. So yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's 2230 on the QJ Pillow 3 by 3. Twenty three fifty seven. I uh, one two three. That, but yeah. So hold on one second. Basically, uh, second faster, but yeah. So as I compare that solve, I really do think that now after now after looking at the solve and my Zanchu solve, I think. This actually could be a really nice Viki, right? It doesn't seem too bad. It could have some uh, good potential. It's very, very fast. And, yeah, this is still factory tension and lubed. I haven't done anything to this, and I haven't done some stuff with my Zanshi. So, I, I don't know. This, this could get a lot of hype, I guess. But, yeah, this is also a great collector's item. So would I recommend this to you? It, I would only recommend this to you if you are thinking of getting a, like, a speed cube and you're ranging 40 seconds maybe or something. Um, 40 seconds lower, I don't know. This doesn't seem to be huge speed cubing worthy. I don't think that anyone like that ranges 20 seconds and below would ever use this. But it, it does have potential. My brother uses this as his main speed cube. So yeah, I mean... This has great potential. So yeah, if that if you are within the forty second, fifty second range, this actually would be really nice. It's a little bit small, so you know, as I said, it's about this small compared to a Rubik's brand, and it is rounded, so that might be a problem. I don't know if this is illegal, but I I don't think it should be. I mean, there's it's not like it's rigged or anything, but yeah. But, yeah. So overall, should you get the QJ Pillow 3x3? It's a great collector's item because of its roundness, and it also has potential to be a really good speed cube. I'm not entirely sure if this is legal in competitions. Uh, I don't think it should be because it's just a pillow. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah. That is my review and opinion on the QJ Pillow 3x3. Want more reviews? You can hit this button right here. You can check out my channel below that. And my last video will be in the top right corner. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Also, you can even favorite this video if you'd like. And always subscribe. So thanks so much for watching this. Bye.